showcase schools, sharing, promising, practices. And welcome to the Esteban Vicente School. You're going to have the opportunity to visit classrooms. I'm going to be taking you to see our wonderful science teacher in a second grade bilingual class. And you can ask the kids questions. You can take pictures of anything you see that you like on the walls. The Showcase program is a great opportunity for educators to spend most of a day visiting classrooms and have some food for thought to bring back to your own situation. And I was glaring at her and I said, give me back my toy. How is Mikayla feeling at that moment? What Showcase Schools does is it taps into something that's kind of fundamental, the desire to learn and the desire to connect and to share that. The vocabulary is so higher level, you know, which is wonderful. When you walk in the classroom, you will see student engagement. The showcase day usually begins with the school team making a presentation about the journey that they've taken, not to say we are masters of this practice, but we're going to share with you the needs that we recognized, the questions we asked ourselves, and the choices we made. I'm going to get more student voice. I'm going to get more engagement. The responsibility of the learning is on them. Our content objective will explore the physical principles of roller coasters. In a second grade bilingual class, the students were learning about force and motion. They had to take all the prior knowledge in terms of force, potential energy, kinetic energy, and build a roller coaster. Is he right? Yeah. Do we agree? Yeah. Can he do a hot dance? This was a bilingual class and I was very impressed. The vocabulary, the engagement, it was so hands-on and all the children were taking equal participation in the activity. They were afraid that the foreigners would not want to buy their products and goods if they raised the taxes because they weren't really that well off like the North. They were able to really share deeper critical thought and phrase their answers fully and wholly using evidence from the text, which is taught through a love of reading that has been really cultivated here. Students gain a skill that will serve them for their lifetime, to be confident and articulate, and to be able to question why things are the way that they are. So basically, if they didn't like what the federal government is doing, they could just separate away from them. That's the most powerful thing we could ever teach them. So I would want participants to see that it's possible. The fact that kids are writing that much in a math classroom is just so inspiring. Every kid buys into the culture. When you visit another school, you have a chance to really see theory being put into practice. When you see something and you see it working with the students, you immediately want to take that either back into your classroom or back into your school. What you get out of this day is really important to us, so we're going to be asking you for feedback. It was content rich, vocabulary driven. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> who better to learn from than a colleague? We're stronger when we pool our resources together than, than if we stand alone. We know that students need extra support. I take them and I put them in her group, and then as they're progressing in her group, I pull them out and I put them back in my group. It's a paradigm shift where we move from competition and isolation to collaboration and cooperation among educators. When I left, I said to her, can I be a student in your class? <laughs> we could impact on all students in our system through this kind of work. 1.1 million students in New York City public schools. Bigger than some countries, right? <laughs>